hello everyone. Welcome back to another episode of my Central American adventure. For the newbies, I'm Zoe, a 27-year-old solo traveler from Australia. Today's episode covers my time in Puerto Viejo, Costa Rica. From the outset, I'll tell you that this leg certainly had its chaotic moments. I got myself a free and permanent tattoo from a scooter, was robbed in daylight, okay, someone stole my shoes, and had a fair few other laughable moments. Anywho, sit back and relax while I show you my favorite place in Costa Rica. I'm on a video call with mom and dad. Wave, mom and dad. I'm on my bus to go to Viejo. That was stressful this morning because I saw it was a packed bus. And I was, you know, when you're on a bus and you're like, oh, I just don't want anyone to sit next to me. And then you see people coming on, they eye you and you're like, this, this person going to be next to me. They're going to be next to me. And no one ever came next to me. No one else has a seat occupied next to them, but I'm free. It's going to be a good ride. We're off. The bus ride took close to four hours and it was a beautiful ride along the coastline. It was my first time properly on the coast in Costa Rica and I was really glad to have spent it there. So I've arrived in Puerto Viejo. It is so hot, so nice. I was waiting for my friend Alex to pick me up. It is gorgeous, honestly, and uh, I haven't seen a beach in a while. Very excited and it's super chill. It's like it's what I thought Key Corpa and it's what it feels like Key Corpa should have been. So I like it here already. Cue Alex with his scooter. And we're gonna figure out how to uh, get me on the bike with my, my two bags. I'll just hold on to you. And uh, off we go. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> now, let me tell you, this was a pivotal moment in my trip where a lot went wrong. Go. The cause of it? was hopping on that motorbike. Unbeknownst to me, there's an exhaust pipe on the right of the motorbike or a scooter that is bloody hot if you touch it. It will come as no surprise to you that yes, my leg touched that exhaust pipe. No, and for the please. next month, you'll see in my travels the amount of pain it caused me. Oh my gosh, you're beautiful. This is Alex's kitties. Soldrian and Harlow. Oh my gosh, this place is incredible. Alex's place felt like it was nestled in the jungle and it was marvellous. He had oh two little kitties, which I got to hang with every single day. So for the last two, three days in Costa Rica, I'm on the hunt for sloths. You want my snacks? I realised that this place, you're more likely to see a sloth than in Monteverde, because there's less tourists and it's a lot more authentic. So fingers crossed Puerto Viejo. I'm going to go to Manzanillo National Park tomorrow in Coita as well. And Leah, fingers crossed. I really like it here. I'm gonna head to the beach now, play cockles, and do a big walk down and explore, have my drone with me before hopping. The irony of this sign, knowing what's gonna happen for the next month, kills me now. The water is beautiful. It's a lovely afternoon. The only thing that's annoying is that I have my massive camera bag, so. I wanted to drone and do stuff with Zabo, but oh, that water is so warm. Can't wait to swim. And along here we have all the forest area where I hopefully will see a sloth. Fingers crossed, Zoe. I had my first drone flight of my time on the coast in Costa Rica and it did not disappoint. While I was walking along this beach droning, I noticed that my leg was stinging a bit and I don't really mention it at all at the start because I really didn't click that it was a terrible third degree burn I just received a few hours earlier. But as you see, it'll progress. And you also notice that I did not look after it at all. Pretty much this whole video is the underpinning for the shit storm that unraveled for the rest of my trip due to this motorbike exhaust pipe burn. So I think I'll be going on about that slightly, but obviously I had a great time regardless, though it did uh, prevent me from swimming and doing a lot of other things. <laughs> Anywho, enjoy the drone footage. Got all the local dogs with me. Hello. Hello, German Shepherd. You're a cutie. Oh. It is so cute here. Look at this. 
Hello from paradise. Okay, I flew my drone again. This time was a bit further down the beach once the sun had come up a bit more uh, and I'd had a little dip, which was stupid of me, but obviously it didn't click on how bad my leg was. Um, the water was beautiful and it was really nice to know that the entire beach was pretty much left for myself. There were barely any tourists around and that was made the entire experience really special. That's y'all. I also realized I forgot to record the evidence of me having spotted two sloths in the wild. I got it on my phone though, so I guess I can share the footage on that. Uh, I was way too excited. Two sloths sleeping in the tree in the wild within an hour of arriving at where to be a whore. Yeah, so it just goes to show that fuck Monte Verde in those areas. You have to pay so much money if you even go into a national park and not even see a sloth. This is completely free. And I saw two in the wild and I will probably see more. And there's so much beautiful wildlife here as well. And it's all free because natu natural parks here, national parks are free and nature is free, which is actually quite delightful for once. And it's really annoying because I actually really like Costa Rica right now. And uh, yeah, I made my decision to leave last week. <laughs> That's all right. At least I'm here for a bit. So this is the paradise I woke up to. And now we're off to the beach, to Cockles Beach, for a little adventure. They have big spiders here. Very big spiders. I didn't record it, but that night I ended up catching up with friends and attending to my wound for the first time because I acknowledged that it could be an issue. And they are looking right at the magical morning. Another day, another drone flight, and this one was Gorgeous. Absolutely no one on the beach. No one in sight. And I'm bloody glad there was no one in sight because I made a fool of myself and happened to catch it on the drone as well, as you will see right now. to walk three kilometers back to where I started because my water bottle has slipped out of my bag. And I'm very much hoping, I'm not in those spots where I left it, so I'm very much, oh, thank God, there it is. Okay, never again. Ugh. Great success. Just got a lift from London. At least I wasn't triggered by scooters and still managed to hitchhike my way back to town. My next destination was Playa Negra, translated as Black Beach, which is unsurprising because the sand of the beach was black. Here, I experimented with some solo droning, which did not really end up going that well, as you can see. Um, at one point, my drone flew away as I was lying on the beach and I thought that someone had stolen it, but it ended up just going back to home because the screen was inactive for too long. I did get some okay footage, uh, but being a solo traveler and trying to drone on your own and drone yourself on your own is quite difficult, as you'll find out. drama of this morning. So I just gotta clean myself from a delightful swim. I can't believe how dirty this water is. I mean it's just black. And my Scottish friend has helped me film today which has been delightful. <laughs> 
So the problem with the black sand beach is you are just covered in black sand. Even when you try and wash off, it's the particles suspended in the sand. So I'm just so dirty. Oh, my shoes, shit. Where did I leave my shoes? Oh, fuck. Okay, someone stole my shoes. They were there, the socks are here. And now they're gone. What an absolutely bizarre turn of events. I am so fucked. <laughs> I just, I love, someone stole my shoes and they didn't steal my $40,000 electronic bag. And now I'm walking five kilometers barefoot. Which seriously sucks. Voila. It's so stupid. And where do I buy shoes in Puerto Viejo? And I'm pretty sure the people who stole my shoes would be those type of people that resell them at stores and because they were quite new Nikes. So who knows, maybe I'm going to be buying my shoes back. That could actually happen. Unbelievable. And now it's raining. What a day. Delightful. At least maybe I'll get this dirt off. Ah. Oh, this sucks. <laughs> oh. Someone pick me up. By some lovely people. We can pick up all the people. <laughs> okay, I got my lift to the hostel where my pal will hopefully be and hanging and I need a shower and shoes. Oh, Jesus. I then met up with some friends at their hostel and hopped on a bus to Munsonio National Park. And disaster struck again. I did the bus and my little beautiful swelling has popped. And now we've got Dr. Louie. <laughs> Sailing professional. <laughs> Putting antiseptic on it. Oh my god. She's clean. She's a beauty. Okay. Yeah, but then we need to bandage it up. Oh uh, wait. I think we can just use this one to can ask the Ross for some ash. Yeah, I got it. Put some ash on it. The team has it now. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> you got matching like hats What too. kind of the tape is this? Is this body tape? It's electrical tape. Electrical tape. Yeah, no. I don't think that's gonna it, it work. work. You think so? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not sure. She'll be right. Let me see where the bottom is. Okay, yeah, I got it. Dr. Louie has better tape. We <laughs> 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 have the worst hairline. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> So right, he's a set designer, he knows what he's doing. Yeah, yeah, this is... Right. There you go, that'll stay on forever. This is glow. Messy bee coop. Hola. Hola. Yeah, I've just yeah, had a um a thing pop on my leg. Okay. I burnt my leg. I live here, I have a first aid kit. Oh, thank you so much. I think it should be fine. We just cleaned that, it was not very pleasant. Okay. But I think it's fine. But that couldn't dampen my spirit. It was a beautiful day and I powered on. All of us already noticed how much more beautiful this area was compared to the other parts of Costa Rica that we've already visited, like Monteverde and La Fortuna. This is heaven. Where's Oli? Manzanillo. So we've registered. It's actually a donation only, so you don't have to pay that much. What a great place this is. They checked bags upon entering, but somehow I evaded that. And that's good because I have a machete in my bag. So, oh, look at the tech, look at this. Oh, the shadows are beautiful. Hello, MTV. I'm in paradise. The background the machete was to cut foliage if we ended up bush bashing. It wasn't as a weapon or anything. And I really don't know why I had one. Holy shit, this is what all the photos are. Okay, the drone is coming out. Obviously, I threw my drone. You can see that now. And I will not commentate over this because I might just give you guys a little break. So sit back and enjoy this brief period of drone footage.
After that quick stop along the coast, we continued our way through Muntinia National Park. As you can see, the terrain is fairly untouched, so we were clambering up and down tree roots, slipping in mud. Get it! <laughs> the forest sounds were incredible and we ended up listening to howler monkeys all the way. Howler monkeys. What I really loved about Costa Rica was how luscious everything was. I'm not a huge city gal when it comes to traveling so I love nature and Costa Rica definitely offers that. Though it does come at quite a premium because it is a very expensive place to travel around. Apparently not allowed to swim. I've been sinned in, so I don't infect this. So I've got my little bikis. And I'm just watching them swim. Which is quite cute, really. The others in the group chose to not wear shoes for the entire hike, which I thought was absolutely insane, but they seemed to survive okay. Nice. Though for this sort of terrain, I am very glad I kept my shoes on. It's a fun little jungle staircase obstacle course. Whew. Up, up, up. I am so sweaty and filthy. Yay. A big crabby crab. Hello. Okay, he's a bit scared, I think. After a fair few hours exploring Monsignor, we headed to the nearest restaurant for some much needed food. And Louis cleaned my wound as this happened. I happily ate my meal, did a few things that evening with friends and went to bed. I didn't film any of that, so we're gonna go straight to the next day now. Morning humans, it is morning. And it was pissing down raining since 4 a.m. It's quite wet, all the roads. But the sun's coming out now, and that means it's time to go to Coita, uh, which is 19 kilometers north of Puerto Viejo, and another beautiful national park where uh, you can spot sloths a lot more easily. Um, and I have not finished yet. I want to see at least one more sloth. Two is not enough. Uh, on the balcony this morning at Alex's place, I saw the most beautiful toucans, and I keep forgetting to video. I'm not really good at this vlogging stuff. I just don't have my GoPro with me, but I can just at least share the memory on uh, video now. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Puerto Viejo is three or four kilometers away and then I'll catch a bus to Coita and uh, yeah, it's all happening. Oh, so I just got a um, message from my friend who's a paramedic who has said that my burn is not looking good. She says it's potentially a full thickness burn which is not a first degree. <laughs> um, so I'm just gonna have to go to a doctor now. I just gotta attend to it. I'm going to San Blas Island in a few days and I want to be able to swim. I paid a lot of money for this tour, like close to, I don't even know what to say. Um, oh fuck. That's seriously annoying. And I can't swim today. So I do need to go to a doctor. I have medical insurance and travel insurance, so it's fine, but it's just annoying. So unnecessary. Fuck, just, just from hopping on a bike, I'm just so annoyed at myself. I'm in the doctor's surgery, getting it cleaned. That needs to be recorded for medical insurance. Oh my god. So that cost 100 US. Yes, so I've got some sterile pads, that's my prescription, and this, and we're gonna get it sorted. And this baby's gonna get better soon. So the solution has been purchased, um, and now I'm just waiting for a ride. I have some friends, and we're gonna go to Kawita National Park. Very exciting. They should be coming this way sometime. I think that's them over there. Just waiting. So apparently I'm hopping in here. What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. So, Hi. Right. Are you so fucking serious? <laughs> I'm a burns victim uh, right now. Okay, yeah, the, I'm, I'm squeezing in here. Or uh, we can go two and two. We can do like, like that thing. Potentially. This is the most Mexican thing ever. I can say that. I'm Mexican. What if people seeing cars and not moving? 
We arrived at Kawita and headed to the entrance. Just like Matsunio, Kawita is free entrance with an optional donation. But then another little hiccup occurred. They don't tell you in any policy until you arrive that you're not allowed to bring a drone in. I wouldn't fly it if I brought it in. I have it in my bag. And now I have to put it away in this car of a guy I don't even know uh, because there's no other alternative and I'm gonna leave it in the car, pick it up later because they won't even store it for me. I said, can I just leave it with you guys at the office and I'll pick it back. They're like, no, no, you can't do that. Fuck, it's just annoying. Like, I'm nervous now. I'm putting a $3,000 drone in someone's car. Should not be talking that loudly. It's just, it's annoying. Like, things aren't just clear here. <sighs> just, just been an annoying day. Uh, just a bit worried now. I don't want to leave a drone in a car and it's nerve wracking. Spoiler alert, it ended up being okay, but it was not <laughs> my best day, especially with my leg injury. I was just in a bit of a frustrated headspace. But anywho, I continued on and really enjoyed my time at Kawita, as you'll see. Again, within the first 10 minutes of entering, we got to see the most beautiful wildlife. I mean, raccoons may not be most beautiful, but they were so cute. We saw sloths, a snake in the tree. There was a lot I didn't record because I was actually hashtag present. So there's a little howl amongst them up there. And there's a sloth over there. And the sloth is carrying a little baby. Yeah, and we've been here like half an hour and have seen raccoons, monkeys, sloths, and different breeds of um, monkey. It's amazing and it cost nothing. I didn't pay a donation because I was salty about the drone thing, but you, you can make a voluntary donation. I'm a bit of a dick that I didn't, but I was a bit annoyed. Kawita National Park has an eight kilometer one-way trail that circles the perimeter of the park itself along the coast. You can choose to hike there and back, which would be about 16 kilometers, but we didn't have enough time, so we went from one end to the other and then took a bus back to the start. <laughs> Little snacks. We're not allowed to have plastic in this park, so we have a wrapped food in paper towels. Bon appétit! <laughs> One thing to note is how bloody scary the monkeys were in Kawita, as you'll see. Yeah, I mean, if it, I don't know, if it, uh... Who's going yeah. first? <laughs> Why are we scared of a monkey? They were, they were cute when they were on the trees, right? Yeah. They look so ugly! Oh my god! <laughs> Yeah, I just don't, I don't trust him. This monkey is so scary. <laughs> it keeps looking Oh my god, it keeps looking back. <laughs> oh fuck. This is like the game, you know, it's like spotlight. We have to turn around and then <laughs> Yeah, it was... <laughs> Oh my god. Freeze, don't move. After making it through that ordeal, we arrived at a beautiful beach where everyone started swimming. And I sat because I wasn't allowed to swim. And that turned out to be the biggest issue because I was faced with another ordeal oh when God. the monkeys ah. came to attack our bags ah. to get food. Okay, what the fuck do I do? They're all dying! Oh my God! Do! There's like nothing in there, oh my God! Ah. Oh my God! No, oh my God! I've oh decided God. to spare you my screeching for the next minute in this video and just do a voiceover to explain the situation. Basically, upon entrance, we were told by a lot of people that the monkeys are hungry and they're very sneaky. We were like, yeah, yeah, whatever, they're monkeys. Given that it was only me lying on the beach next to the bags, Do we these tell goddamn them? smart monkeys unzipped our bags out. and ended up getting it all out. This food. is insane. We've got three ladies standing guard to defend ourselves from the evil monkeys who have proceeded to steal the pretzels, which are now on the floor, and Marissa's Tupperware box, which is not ideal. Oh my god, they're there! <gasps> oh, it's coming back. Look what we have, we have Rocky the raccoon. I had a field day taking photos because they were so cute, these little raccoons. But obviously the main lesson learned is never leave me in charge of guarding bags at the Eaton National Park when there are monkeys about, because I will let you down every single time. This literally went on for about half an hour. We were absolutely transfixed. I think this is our time to exit. 
This way is still so Oh, we just saw him. Causing quite the spectacle here. <laughs> We're all very excited. And I'm very sweaty. <laughs> Finally, we managed to move on and progress with our day hike. But obviously, the monkeys still did not leave us alone. It's so cool to be right next door to these other things. This part of the hike was my favorite because you had the coast on the left, beautiful palm trees, and incredible sunlight. It is awesome here. Oh my god. Wow. After an incredible day, we were on the way to the end of the trail. But not before more monkeys could follow us. I can't believe the monkeys have returned. <laughs> back to their old games. Yeah, we've successfully made it back to Puerto Viejo with this car. <laughs> of a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> Anywhere, pretty much. <laughs> she looks so stupid. <laughs> oh my god. How do you open it? <laughs> oh my god. There's my bag. <laughs> oh wow. We made it back to Puerto Viejo main town, got some food and played some card games. And then I walked back home to start packing for my transit tomorrow. There is a funny story about these two supermarkets. We've got super cockles and super negro. Two with fun names, but potentially inappropriate names. Um, the Western world. But the funny story is that super negro I think was created first. And this was created because there was a rivalry between two people. And this super cockles owner created a spite store. Now, if anyone watches Curve Enthusiasm, that is literally an episode of Curve Enthusiasm. No, it's an entire season. Season 10 or 11. I can't remember which one, but it is so funny. So I've been hopping between the two because I don't want to show preference treatment, but today is a super cockles day. I've got to restock Alex's granola stock because I ate so much of it. <laughs> so I farewelled Alex, and now I'm on my way to Panama. Um, that was a really nice reset. I spent three nights in Puerto Viejo, which is one of the longest I've spent in a place which is actually quite crazy as well. My leg's getting better. Actually, I'll show you. Ooh. Seems to be doing better. I'm cleaning it, I'm letting it air now, which is what the doctor said. So I'm listening and being very careful because I don't want it infected by the time I get to Colombia. That would be disastrous. Okay, that is it. Another really abrupt ending to my videos because when I'm with people, I don't film at all and I realize that's probably a good thing because I'm actually enjoying time with people, but it also makes my storytelling a bit disjointed and I can't really do much about that now. Um, but thank you for watching the video. I really enjoy just sharing my adventures and looking back on what was an amazing trip. Stay tuned for next time where I'll show you my time spent in Panama. Thanks again. Catch you next time.